Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope this first month of 2022 is going well for all of you. I hope you're keeping safe out there, keeping healthy from this Omicron COVID surge that is going on again. So yeah, I pray for protection for all of you and your families and I pray that you all stay strong and healthy. Okay, yeah, I, I pray that for you. So my name is Dr. Yava Webzel. I'm a board certified pediatrician fellow of the american academy of pediatrics welcome to my youtube channel i'm glad you're here if you haven't subscribed yet i'm not sure what you're waiting for because i've told you that i'm back and i'm going to try to start bringing out publishing at least one video per week i'm going to try because my coaching business is getting busy so i do get quite busy on instagram and as you know i also still have my offline pediatric uh, business that I still have to manage. So I'm glad you're here. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you click hit that subscribe button now. And please make sure you share this video with your friends and don't keep my channel to yourself. Share my channel with your friends and invite them to come and subscribe because I have tons and tons of relationship videos as well as business videos as well as lifestyle videos that will really help you enhance your life. So welcome to my channel. If you don't follow me yet on on Instagram, please go and find me on Instagram at Dr. Yabo at D R I Y A B O. Make sure you follow me there as well. So, today I'm talking about a topic that I know probably all of us have been through or all of us are going to go through at some point in our lives. So, the topic today is how to handle a breakup. Okay, how to deal with a breakup how to handle a breakup. Breakups are not easy. Breakups are not easy. You know, breaking up with somebody that you love with your with, with all your heart and soul that you've probably spent many years with, they're not easy, right? They're not easy. Even if you're not in love with them anymore, they're still not easy because there's still a lot of emotional baggage. There's still a lot that you have to work your way through. So I really wanted to help you ladies today with how to deal with a breakup, how to handle a breakup so that you can move on and even become better with life. So the first thing I want you to think about when you're thinking of a breakup is that it was meant to be, okay? Don't try to fight what was meant to be. It was meant to be. So it's if it could be that you were the one who broke it off, or he was the one who broke it off. So one of you, right? Or maybe you mutually decided to go your ways, but you have to come to peace with the fact that it was meant to be. Just as simple as that, right? In your journal, it was meant to be. I'm not going to fight this. This is how God wanted it. You have to come to terms with that. If you wanted the breakup, come to terms with the fact that you made the right decision for yourself. If your husband or boyfriend or fiance wanted the breakup, come to terms with the fact that he wanted the breakup. And if he doesn't want you anymore in his life, then you shouldn't be wanting to be with him. So you first have to come to peace with that, right? She doesn't want me anymore. He doesn't want me anymore. I have to come to peace with that. Or it was my decision to break it off and I have to come to peace with that. So it was meant to be is the first thing you have to tell yourself. And then remember that you don't want to put the blame on anybody. Breakups are breakups. They were meant to be. That is not the only person that that uh, that is uh, alive in the world for you to be with. So don't blame yourself for anything you did wrong as to why the the man you were with rejected you and wanted to move on, right? Don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. Maybe you were just not the right woman for him. It doesn't mean that you won't be the right woman for another man out there, right? And you probably will be. You probably will be. That's why God made this breakup happen so that you can release yourself and be available for somebody better. And then don't blame him either. Don't blame yourself and don't blame him for rejecting you. You're going to have to heal, right? You're going to have to heal and forgive yourself and forgive him. And healing is not an overnight process. 
okay some of you want to go over a breakup you've been with somebody for two years but you think you can just heal in two days and then jump on to the next person no that's not how it works you've been hurt your heart has suffered a wound you have to give yourself time to heal so you have to release yourself from any blame don't think that oh it's maybe it's because you're too short or you're too tall or you're too fat or you're too thin or your english isn't good or you have a nigerian accent or what you know don't blame yourself for anything he may have thought was wrong with you. You're God's child, and if you were not good for him, you'll be good for somebody else. So release the blame, release blaming yourself about anything you did wrong, and release him from the hurt that he brought to you. Because you have to forgive. If you don't forgive, you're not going to have freedom in life. If you don't forgive people who hurt you, you're not going to have peace in life. Do you want to sleep well at night? wake up in the morning do you want to have a clear mind to bring up your kids to spend time with your husband or rather well not your husband it was talking about a breakup sorry but you know to have peace to enjoy life to be there for your kids if you've had kids it could be a, a breakup that is a divorce to spend time with your family to spend time with yourself some of us i want to ask you when was the last time you actually spent time alone like by yourself me, I enjoy my quiet time. Honestly, I'm an introvert. As much as I come to social media to talk and to do videos and to coach and all of that, I'm a very shy person and I'm an introvert. So as much as I do all of these things, it's because I'm passionate about them. But the real Yabo is a, an introvert. I like being home. I like being by myself. I just like my quiet and my peace. My husband and I work from home most of the time now so most of both of us are just usually home working just peaceful quiet kind of lifestyle i'm an introvert so when was the last time you spent time by yourself you don't have to be jumping from one man to the next to the next spend some time with yourself release the blame on yourself release the blame on him he hurts you he left you he rejected you he filed for divorce you know he told everybody you were a bad person it's okay you know who you are release him forgive him so that you can move on in freedom so that you can move on in peace so that you can move on with clarity and move on afresh okay so you have to heal and the healing process takes time so one thing you don't want to do definitely when you're healing is to jump quickly to another relationship. You don't want to do that. As much as people will say, oh, the best way to heal from someone is just to start another relationship. You're basically taking all your wounds, your hurts, and your lack of closure, you're taking it into the next relationship. You haven't taken time by yourself to even figure out what are the lessons because with every breakup, there has to be a lesson. What are the lessons you've learned from this relationship that you're not going to repeat in the next one? How are you going to find yourself first? How are you going to figure out with yourself what it is that is really meaningful to you in life? What do you want from your life? What kind of man do you want from your life? What are your hobbies? What are your passions? What's the meaning of your life? Are you living in your purpose? Are you helping people, serving people with the gifts that God has given you. So do, the last thing you want to do to heal, if somebody is telling you now that just go and find another boyfriend, forget about him. No, take some time to heal. You guys know my story. I've said it on many videos that after my divorce, I was dating back to back, back to back. But when I went to church one day and my pastor was like, he was talking to me in a big church full of hundreds or thousands of people i felt like pastor andy stanley was talking to me because he said there's some people in this audience it seems like they've been dating and dating and they can't find a good person and they're just tired they're overwhelmed i'm asking you to take at least two years off today it sounded like he was talking to me so that day i decided okay i haven't met the man that i believe I can spend the rest of my life with. I'm going to commit to myself today that I'm going to take two years off from dating. And I took exactly two years off from dating. My kids, my children, my daughters were telling me, oh, mom, you're taking too much time off. You should start dating. You should go back to match.com. I'm like, I don't want to. In fact, I was so focused on my life then that I did so many wonderful things. I wrote my book. I published my book. 
I did all the book launching and everything. My book was doing so well. I spoke at the United Nations three times. I did so many amazing things during those two years that I took off just to be by myself and enjoy my own life and be there for my daughters. So many amazing things happened. I bought my own house. I did so many amazing things. So get to know yourself, get to elevate in your life. And I'm telling you, if you haven't heard my story, as soon as I took those two years off and I went back to dating and I, and I reopened my match.com account in November of 2017, by January, I met my future husband. I think I, I dated only two men before I met him and they were not even good for me. But I met my future husband early January of 2019, uh, of 2018. After I reopened my Match.com account in November, it took two solid years off. You know, men would be, even when I'm around or, you know, going out and all of that, men that would notice I didn't have a ring on, they would be making passes doing that. I didn't even see them because I was so committed to falling in love with myself again and finding myself and really following what Pastor Andy Stanley said. And it changed my life because I did meet my future husband after my 10 years divorce. So do not go to a rebound relationship unless you want more hurt for yourself and more pressure and more breakups for yourself. Take some time off. If you're not strong enough to take two years off, take one year off. I'm telling you, take one year off. Take one year off. Just stop dating. Take one year off. Figure out what you want to do in your life. Do you want to improve in your job? Do you want to start a business? Do you want to oh, start an online business? Do you want to try and get healthier? Do you want to lose some weight? Do you want to get closer to God? You know, do you want to start reading your Bible more? There's so many things that you can do during that time to help you heal and become a better person. And if you feel like the healing is hard for you, it has really affected your mental health, then I'll say definitely get a mental health therapist. There's nothing shameful or bad about getting a mental health therapist. If you need a mental health therapist, I have a few women in my network who are black women. If you're a black woman who's watching this and you want a black woman who is a therapist, come to me. I'll refer you to them. I have many mental health coaches, many mental health therapists in my network that you, you will pay one-on-one -on -one to help you with your mental health, okay? So you have to focus on yourself. You have to take time off to focus on yourself, like I said. Fall in love with yourself again. Start spending some quiet time by yourself. Go for walks, okay? Go for walks. Spend time with some trusted friends. Again, be careful who you spend time with because I'm going to go on here now to talk about the last thing you want to do. This is important. If you haven't heard anything that I've said all through this video, this part is very important. The people you spend time with after your breakup is crucial to the way you heal. Okay? There are going to be many, many more people, friends and relatives telling you that you've made a bad decision. I'm telling you. This happens all the time to women. A lot more people will tell them they've made a bad decision. They should go back to that man. They should go back to that woman. They made a terrible decision. That's not what they should do. That's not what they should have done. They will never, some people, some, a lot of women who've been hurt before, they will tell you that you will never find a man who's good for you. All men are the same. All men are cheats. All men are this. You better just go back to the one you know. You won't find a man. Eh, hey, you're 28 years old. Eh, hey, you're 35 years old. You're getting old. You better just go back to him and just sit down with him or better just sit. don't listen to those people and there's going to be more of those people around your life so if you've made a decision to move on distance yourself from people who are telling you to go back because that's a big mistake if you've decided you want to break up with someone do, let me repeat myself do not let those people come into your into your spirit or into your ear because they're going to keep telling you to go back because the, the, they're going to tell you the man you know is better than the one you do. Even if the man is the one that said he doesn't want you anymore, some bad friends or some bad relatives will tell you to go and beg the man to take you back. I've heard these stories over and over and it's the worst thing that can happen to any woman. So if you've decided you as an adult 
you've made up your mind you don't want to be with the man anymore he has rejected you or you've told him you don't want to be with him anymore stay away from friends and relatives i'm not saying they're bad people i do take that back i misspoke the last time i'm not saying they're bad people but they're bad for you in this season you're in because they're going to convince you to go back to a man that you know is not good for you they are not the one who's married to the man that's one thing you have to remember you are the one who's going to have to go back to the toxicity go back to the pain go back to the terrible relationship you were in they are, they are not moving in with you to help you live with him you are going to be the one living with him so if you listen to them it's your life again so if you've made a decision those people block them out from your life on for some time so that you can heal and you can move on completely if you keep on listening to people they will convince you eventually to go back to the toxicity because you are still in a wounded state you know you're in a wounded state you're in a state where you yourself are like should i go back should i not go back okay i'm the one that rejected him but am i sure then you start letting fear and uncertainty take over you and then these people are all telling you you're stupid you're crazy you made a bad decision go back to him avoid them avoid them and proactively look for people like myself who have gone through a breakup and they have healed from it and they have gone on to to be in a happy relationship look for those kinds of people those kinds of people will be rare they will be rarer than the other ones the other ones are the ones that are going to fill your ears and your head a lot but you have to proactively go and look for people who have gone through a breakup or a divorce or whatnot and they have healed and they're happy and they're doing well those are the ones you want to follow on social media all the people who are talking about how breakups are hard and how men are all the same how you should not leave your husband because the next husband you meet will also be bad unfollow them on social media block them unfollow them on social media while you're healing because while you're healing you're very vulnerable and they'll convince you to go bad back to a bad situation proactively look for people who have gone through breakups and who are thriving and doing well and let those people speak into your heart okay another thing you also want to do is if there's any things around that remind you of him memories right whether it's pictures or whether it's a mug or whether it's his shoes or he left his toothbrush in your house or whatever reminds you of him if they're things like toothbrushes or whatever throw them away if they're disposable things if they're things that belong to him mail them to him or find a way to get them to him or you know what don't even mail them if he's asking for them mail them to him if he's not asking for them put them in a box and put them away in your attic or in your storage somewhere okay the last thing you actually want to do is start communicating with him which i'm coming to that so those things just put everything in a box tape it up put it away in your, in your attic so not even in your storage where you go into don't put it in a place where you go into often like your storage or your closet because you're going to be tempted to open it up put it somewhere that you rarely go to a part of the house where you rarely go to or give it to charity but i don't want to say you should give it to charity because he may come back to ask for them but put them away for the time being okay put them away anything that will remind you put them away and then on the other on the same tone on the same uh topic also make sure you cut ties in a loving respectful way with his family and with his friends and with his colleagues because just like i said before they're all going to come barging in telling you to go back you've made a bad decision they're going to want to say they want to see both of you together they want to help you heal they want to help you get over your differences and get you back together there's going to be a flurry of those and you're just going to get confused so if as an adult you've made up your mind stick with your decision you are the one who was in the relationship you are the one who knows what is good for you or what's not bad for you don't let other people miss uh, uh, uh what's it called uh, don't let other people deceive you and get you back into a bad situation so cut ties respectfully with his family if he, some of his family or his cousins or whoever is related to me what colleagues are trying to call you block their numbers i'm telling you 
I'm sure many of you are watching this and you're probably saying it's true. Wow, Dr. Yabo, how do you know? Because I know that's what people do. They're all going to get into your business, trying to get you back together. Then they'll get you back together and you will go back into your bad situation and nothing would have changed. And you'll go back again into toxicity. Why? Why are you going to let people deceive you to get it? I mean, they're trying. A lot of these people have a good heart. They're trying to help you, but they are not helping you. They are not helping you because they don't live in the, your house. They're not going to live with you in the marriage. They are not going to be the one in the relationship. Okay, you two are not meant to be together. Just let it go. And then the last thing I will say to get over uh, um, uh, a, a, what's it called, a breakup is definitely getting a coach. Definitely, definitely. If you feel it's hard for you to move on, definitely look into getting a dating or relationship coach to help you so that you can really sit down and go through all of this, find somebody to talk to, figure out what the lessons you've learned, what the lessons are that you've learned for the previous relationship and how you're going to move on and avoid those mistakes again. So the last thing definitely is to hire somebody like me, a dating, relationship, business, lifestyle kind of coach who's going to dig deep into everything for you, your profession, your career, the way you think, your confidence level, your self-esteem level, your self-care. Do you take care of yourself? You know, are you letting yourself go? Are you overweight? Do you have medical issues you're dealing with? How do you feel about yourself? What's your self-esteem? What's your professional life? Do you have a job? Do you have an income? Do you, have... you know, there's so many things that are related to how we date. Okay. You, you, you won't believe that how we date is related to so many other things, so many other parts of our life. So if you believe you need a dating or relationship coach, like I've always said, go to my website, send me an email, comment below. I always get all my comments. Or you go to Instagram and send me a DM or easy, just go to my website, dryabo.com and send me an email from there. Look at my website, you'll see my coaching offers on there. I have a one hour strategy session. I also have an eight week session as well. So that's how you deal with a breakup. That's how you deal with a breakup. I hope you learned some lessons here and I pray that God will give you the forgiveness of heart, the peace the clarity and the strength. You need the strength to be able to go through this breakup because there's a great man out there for you. And if you're a man that is watching this, there's a great woman out there for you. There's somebody better. The, the break, breakup was meant to happen so that you can release yourself, so that you can free yourself and take some time off to breathe to evolve into a higher level of yourself and then attract the man that is for you. But please make sure you come to terms with the lessons, you take time to heal and you listen to this video over and over and over again and listen to all the gems that I shared. If you love this video, like I always say, please make sure you like it, make sure you comment below. Comments are very important for my YouTube channel growth. And please share my channel with your friends so that they can come and subscribe. Thank you so much. God bless you and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.